What's going on guys, it's Devonte back with another video. And today I wanna to talk about how caring less gave me more. And what I mean by that, so it's not misconstrued and cause you know, have you ever seen a scene in Lucifer? It's like he'll go to therapy and this is actually about the character Lucifer. He'll go to therapy, hear one line that he thinks he needs without the context. And he was just like, get up and be like, well, thank you doctor. And it was like, no, there's more to that. And he's like, no, I have enough. Don't do that. Um, obviously there's more nuance to these things, but caring less gave me more. We think about when we're applying to a different position and, or we're talking about, you see a very pretty girl and you take her out on a date and you're wondering if you're going to get the call back or even if you'll get the text back um, or whoever you talk to, there's an opportunity. When you focus on what's at task right now, outside of that, I've noticed that there's a higher return whenever you do hear something good. It's like a pleasant surprise. And when you get bad news about the thing, it hurts a lot less. And what do I mean by that? Well, your indifference is what makes the outcome a lot less bitter or a lot more sweet when you're indifferent to the outcome. And maybe I'll title the video that because that sounds a lot better. It sounds more like fucking poetic, you know what I'm saying? I'm indifferent about the outcome as I'm working. Being different, indifferent to the outcome is being focused on what's at task right now. And what does that mean? So you're, if you're in between and you're hoping you get a new position or a promotion, what can help a lot is really still just diving in deep into the work you're already doing. And really not checking your email every couple hours. Like, you know, you just give yourself something more to work toward that's outside of that thing. So really kind of like how when they say you went through something sad, you went through a breakup, stay busy. Don't stay at home and sort of wallow in your pain. I've seen that to be true. When you continue on because life is gonna do that, the outcome of whatever you're expecting or desiring to happen bothers you a lot less. The only thing that I can say that has been effective at keeping me from losing my mind about opportunities is just to stay busy and be indifferent to the outcome. And the only way to do that is to not have idle hands because you know what they say about idle hands they're the work of the and i won't even want to call it devil because that gives you a picture of a, a red guy with horns i want to give you something even more sinister idle hands are the work of nihilism degeneracy and a lack of hope because nothing is happening and as long as you are in motion you'll stay in motion and you'll have motion for those of you that know you know. You ever hear somebody say it's easier to find a job when you already have a job? I can tell you why that's the case. It's not only because you have network. It's not only because you have marketable skills. It's not only because there's not a gap in your resume. It's also because you spend less time looking to see if you heard back. Kind of like if you're dating and you're, you have more than one prospect, right? And it's a, it hurts a little bit less when that person doesn't respond to you as quickly as you expect it, when you're talking to another person. When you have something else going on, one thing not working out is the least of your worries because you still have things going on. But when you focus everything into one thing and that one thing doesn't fall through the way you expected it to and you don't know how to pivot and get back up and parry and get back up, it destroys you. It destroys you because that's all you thought you had. That's all you told yourself you had. So to be indifferent is to prove to yourself that you also have options. Because when you're applying to jobs or talking to people, it, it seems like they're the only thing. Because you put all your energy and attention and focus into that. Well, here's the thing. That's a limiting belief. When you don't prospect, whenever you don't leverage what you have and, and market yourself effect effectively, what you're doing is limiting yourself to a yes or a no that will be a devastating blow versus yes and no's that are like minus one HP every time they hit, okay? You can recover against that. If 80% of your HP falls due to one blow, it hurts a lot more. The more desperate you are for an opportunity or a thing that you really desire, you're leaving the door wide open for despair. And not everybody recovers from that. So remember to try your best to stay busy whenever you're pursuing a thing. Stay busy. Don't let your hands and your mind idle too long. You may rest, but don't idle for too long because you will start to think the worst things. What if I don't get this? You will start to worry. 
And what has worrying ever yielded anybody? Maybe anxiety has, because, you know, at least you get up and do something about it. But what has worrying yielded anybody ever but more worry? And you can't cash that at the bank. You can't go and save somebody's life with worry. It's sort of like the concept of competence building confidence. What builds indifference is that confidence. So build competence in something. So you know you have something to do, right? Some skill set, something you can work on. That's competence. That builds confidence, and that confidence builds indifference. Be indifferent to the outcome. Caring less gave me more because I was indifferent to the outcome and because I know that more desperation leads to more despair. Don't let your hands be idle. Don't let your mind idle too long. Stay busy. Stay busy.